Hello my friends, my name is Nin. I'm a yoga and Pilates instructor. Today's class is going to be a class that helps soothe and decompress any sore muscles. You won't need any props, but I always say maybe have a block close by to help you perhaps get deeper into the pose. And with that said, let's begin. We're going to begin this class standing on our mat. Have your heat hip. We're going to begin this class standing on our mat. Have your feet hip widths apart. Roll the shoulders back, straighten up the spine. Lift the chin. Inhale and exhale. Heart above the pelvis, head above the heart. Visualize your spine straightening up through your head. Inhale through the rib cage, expanding. Exhale. And on your inhale, lift the palms above you and take your right wrist into your left hand and stretch over towards the left hand side. Come back now to centre. Take your hand, your right hand around your left wrist and stretch over towards the right hand side. Feeling that beautiful oxygen reach into your rib cage, expanding those obliques, creating space there. Exhale, coming back now. Let the hands fall gently beside you. Take a breath. Then placing your hands on your hips. I'd like you to lift up your right leg, your right foot, bending your right knee. And we'll just do some circles here, warming up the hips. And then coming back the other way. And then gently bringing to centre, then release. And then lifting up your left leg. And then again, beginning to circle the leg. And then back the other way. And then once you're ready, bring it back to centre and then release the foot. Just hobble here from side to side. And then walk to the front of our mat. Inhale, palms up above you. Stretch out those armpits, lifting the chin. And falling gently to the ground. Have your feet about hip width apart. Push down through the heels. And then hugging your elbows. That feels good today. That really wonderful stretch in your lower back should feel absolutely amazing. Again, press through the heels. Make sure here you're not clenching the chin either, or the jaw, or furrowing the brow. Just let yourself soften towards the ground. Beautiful. Now lifting halfway up. Feel that stretch, straighten your back. And then exhale now. Placing your hands under your toes. That feels good. Or you can just take the pose you did before, hugging your elbows. This really is designed to help get that stretch in the lower back.
Wonderful. Take a deep breath in. And out. Beautiful. Coming up now. Arms up above you. And then release down to the mat. Lifting halfway. Exhale down to the floor. And then come on to all fours. <laughs> Cat pose. Well, just taking your wrists underneath your shoulders and your knees should be about hip width apart. And we'll take an inhale, hip bone comes up, lift the chin, stomach falls. We'll take our full cat pose. Exhale now, let the head drop down, tailbone fall, arch the spine, inhale, cat pose again, exhale now. Inhale one more time. And then tuck the toes under and we'll come into downward facing dog. Pedaling out those feet there. Feel that stretch in your hamstrings. Feel the blood run to your head. Check the biceps are in line with the ears. And then lifting up the right leg, first of all, bend the right knee and gently coming into a low lunge. So placing here your right foot underneath So placing here your right foot underneath your knee, but just let your knee come slightly forward in front of your ankle so you extend slightly here. Normally in yoga, I don't normally advise, but we're trying to deeply stretch here into the hips, just relaxing those muscles. So just want you to come forward a bit, check that your hips are square with the front of the mat. Now coming up, press down through the right knee, lifting up with your palms above you. Take a few breaths here. Beautiful, then bringing your hands gently down to the mat. We'll take a half split. So bring the hips back in line again, make sure they're square. Straighten up the right leg and then flexing the right foot here. Feeling that deep, relaxing, gentle stretch through the hamstring, through the right leg. Inhale and then come forward. We're going to take a low lunge again. But here, I'd just like you to walk forward with the right foot slightly. Now, of course, you don't have to go into full split here. Just try and extend as much as feels comfortable for you today. And slowly throughout this, you might feel you can push a bit more. Just take another couple of breaths. And then walking the right foot back. Then take lizard pose, so bringing both your hands to the center of the mat. Walking out with your right foot here and just sinking in again, feeling that final deep hip stretch, if you like. You can twist and press onto your right knee, just looking out, twisting over, looking out over your right shoulder.
beautiful. Come back to centre now. We'll take that back to the other side. So come back into our cat pose. Just do some circles here. Circle back. Come back to centre. Tuck the toes under and we'll take a downward facing dog. Lifting up this time with your left leg. Bend the left knee. And then bringing it forward into our low lunge. Untuck the right foot. And just feel that beautiful stretch here. Releasing the hips. And then option coming up onto your left knee. Press down. And bring your hands up above you. Take three breaths, melting in to the ground, melting through your hips. And release with the hands and press back with the hips, flexing the left leg here. Keeping the hips square with the mat. And now bending your left knee. Just walking forward gently. Don't overextend here. As far as you feel comfortable. This time with the other leg. And you might feel that one side is more open than the other and that's absolutely fine. That's quite normal. So square your hips here. Try not to open to the side. We're trying to keep ourselves balanced, stable. Again, don't overextend into areas on one side compared to the other. Just breathe here for three more breaths. Again, you might soften into this pose a bit more each time. And feel yourself melting down. Take a last inhale here. And then gently coming back with your left foot, heel toe out to the side, hands in the center of your mat, and we'll come into lizard pose. So option one, as it was before, just come in to a traditional lizard pose, or if you like, place your hand on your left knee and look out over the side. Lift the chin up, breathing in beautiful air. One last breath, come back to center now, and then heel toe to the center and come back to our cat cow. And then tuck the toes under, lifting our hips into downward facing dog. Now lifting up with our right leg, stacking the hips, opening up the side here. And then bringing your right knee to your right wrist and tucking the left foot. Now ideally having your hips square here. If you need a support underneath your right hip, please get one. If not, just relax into this pose. Maybe ideally your shin is parallel with the front of the mat. And maybe if it's available, you can come down onto your forearms, maybe even rest your head on the mat and you'll feel this beautiful stretch in the glutes here.
And then one more breath. Then gently returning to the center with our palms, untucking the right foot, tuck the toes under, come on to downward dog and you should feel the difference on one side compared to the other. But don't worry, we're gonna take it to the other side. So here I'd like you to lift up your left leg, stacking your hips, stretch out through the pelvis and then coming down. This time, left knee, left wrist, coming up, untuck maybe the right foot just to take you down a bit deeper. Maybe adjust your foot so that it's more in line, if you can, with your right wrist. Lifting up here. This might feel good for you today, or you might want to come down onto your forearms and kiss the mat with your forehead. Beautiful, one last breath here. And then coming up onto our wrists, coming into cat cow, and then we'll come into our hero pose. Gently working our way down onto the mat. into our final resting pose, Shavasana. So here, I'd like you to clap your feet out to the side. Maybe open the palms up to the sky. Just relax, listening to maybe the birds around you, or maybe the sound. Inhale, feeling the rib cage expand. Exhale, feeling the negative energy flow out and congeal into the air. We're now gently going to come back. So, wiggling your toes, wiggle your hands. Then maybe give your shoulders and legs a wiggle. And then stretching out up above you into a pencil stretch. The longest stretch you may have felt today. And then giving your knees a hug. Give your back a little massage here, you deserve it. And then rolling over onto one side. And come up into a seated position. Just roll the shoulders back and take this moment to acknowledge and thank yourself for creating that time on your mat away from all the chaos, the negative thoughts. And remember today, if you find yourself in a bad space, just come back to this moment on the mat. And remember you've cultivated it for yourself and you can do so at any point throughout the day. Take a last inhale up above you palms together and bow and say namaste namaste thank you so much for joining me on the mat today and i'll see you again tomorrow namaste